Welcome back to our Midday Makeover. Today I'm joined here with Beth Worry from the Catholic Charities of Schuyler County. Thanks so much for coming in. And October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Beth, can you tell us a little bit, you know, what exactly is domestic violence? Domestic violence is when an intimate partner or a family member who you reside with tries to gain power and control over you through abuse. Okay, and you know, what kind of resources do you guys have through your office, you know, for somebody put in that situation? For First Step Victim Services specifically, we provide advocacy, information and referrals, support groups, emergency services, as well as a 24-7 hotline. Okay, and you know, what are some of the different forms of abuse, abuse that you, you know you guys commonly see within domestic violence? When most people think of domestic violence, they usually jump to the gun and think it's physical abuse. However, physical abuse isn't the most common one we see. Um, physical abuse is when someone tries to inflict or does inflict physical injury on someone else. But we usually see economical abuse and emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is when someone tries to make someone's self-worth um, not so great. And economical abuse is when they try to make them financially dependent on them. There's also psychological abuse, which is extremely dangerous, and that's when they try or they do instill fear in someone. There's also gaslighting, which tries to make sh them feel as if they can't trust their own psychic or psychological well-being. Um, and then there's sexual abuse, when someone tries to coerce or does coerce sexual contact without consent. And you know, maybe for somebody, you know, what kind of things, I guess, do they look out for to, you know, know if they fall within this category or if they're in, you know, one of these violent relationships? So signs they usually see are unexplained injuries, withdrawal, making excuses for their partner's behaviors, changes in appearances, um, and losing interest in their hobbies or their usual social outings. And you know, I guess for that first step, you know, what kind of help would you recommend, you know, through Catholic Charities? Absolutely. First is to make sure they know that it's not their fault, to stay non judgmental and have continuous, confidential, um, and a supportive attitude. I'd also persuade them into seeking services such as ours at First Step Victim Services or another program that's in their community. Great. Beth, well, that's all the time we have. But as always, we'll put all of this information on our website, weny.com, as well as other awareness events you guys have going on throughout the month. 